Hello there everyone and welcome back to how to make a mod in Tmod Loader. In the last episode I covered how to make a magical weapon and a projectile to go with it. And in this episode we're going to be covering how to create an armor set. Now armor can be somewhat confusing when it comes to the textures but I'll try and go over uh, each thing as easily as possible. Remember that on the video itself will be information boxes that you you can use for other information which i might forget to say when recording so let's begin by creating our first piece of equipment which is going to be a breastplate so i've created an armors folder along with the textures here so i'm going to do add new class let load the templates, call it tutorial breastplate. And you want using Terraria, using Terraria.modloader, using Terraria.id, using Terraria.gamecontent.creative, and that should be it. You want to extend mod item as this is an item. Uh, set static defaults. I'll leave that blank because we'll fill that in a, in a minute. Because so we're just adding the creative catalog. But in set defaults, you don't need too much. You only need the width and height. So item dot width equals. 18 item dot height equals 18 you also want the value and rarity so item dot value equals item dot buy price i'm going to do silver uh actually do gold of one item dot rare equals item rarity id dot we'll just do blue and now for the uh defense stat which is item dot defense equals and we'll do six so that's basically all you need for armor to work uh but there is an important thing you need to add at the top here. So as you can see over here, we have the, I'll open it. And to load in the armor, we do auto load, equip, and we do equip type dot, and we do body. So let's add the creative catalog quickly. So now let's give the uh, rest play some uh, things to do uh, like some stat boosting so first if you want to give some buff immunity so let's say we want to prevent being frozen do player dot buff immune of buff id dot frozen equals true 
maybe you want to increase uh, your max health or max mana. You do player dot stat life max two plus equals a value or player dot stat mana max two plus equals 20. Those will increase the uh, HP and MP. One of these might not work. Life might not work, but it should. Uh, we'll see it in action when we uh, load into the game. Maybe you want to increase the number of minions you can summon. You can do player dot max minions plus equals two. Uh, I do have some other options. If you want to increase the movement speed, you can do player dot move speed plus equals. 0.07f so that's how you create a breastplate so now let's create the leggings same as before you just need these uh, using again stand mod item this time the auto load equip is uh, legs. I'm going to just copy over the set static and set defaults. Change that to five. Let me do override. Update equip again. And for this, we'll just do player dot move speed plus equals 0.07f. Simple enough. And finally, let's create the helmet. Uh, tutorial helmet. Now, the helmet is going to be the uh, main item that is going to be used for updating the armor set detection stuff. And the way we do that, oops, the way we do that is by overriding is armor set so there are two ways you could do this you could do uh, two balls so I can do ball body match equals body dot type is equal to mod content dot item type of tutorial breastplate and ball legs match equals we'll just fill that in uh, replace that with leggings. Then we do return body match and and legs match. Alternatively, you can do return mod con uh, sorry return body dot type equals mod content dot item type of tutorial breast plate and uh, legs dot type equals mod content dot item type tutorial leggings. This allows you to do it on one line, or you can do it on multiple to make sure it's uh, correct. So now, if you want to update the armor set itself, you do override update armor set. Now the stuff in the update equip applies to the armor set itself. So again, you can do player dot move speed plus equals dot point. We'll do ten. We'll just make a very fast character. 
But the important part to add is player dot set bonus equals. Now you can just put in a normal string here, like increases speed. But if you want to add some localization, so using localization file. So you need using Terraria dot localization, and we're going to create a uh, new key in the localization. So we can do language dot git text value of mods dot tutorial mod dot. And we're going to go and call it item set bonus dot tutorial set so now if we open this underneath item tooltip we're going to do item set bonus and i'm going to call it tutorial set and we're going to do increases speed so now that will appear on there. There are a few things you can also add uh, which relate to the texture drawing. For example, if you want to not draw the head, you can do armor IDs dot, dot head dot sets dot draw head of item dot head slot equals false. Maybe you want to only uh, draw it so there's hat hair. Do armor IDs dot head dot set dot draw hat hair of item dot head slot. Uh, this is seen when wearing. Uh, so like the wizard's hat. If you want to draw uh, full hair, let me just put that on. Do armor IDs dot head dot sets dot draw full hair of item dot head slot. It's true. For example, if you have a mask on instead. But we can see what they do in a moment. So I'm going to comment out these. And let's jump over to uh, Terraria. So let's build and reload. Hopefully everything works. Go single player. Go mod. Tutorial mod. On our helmet, breastplate, and leggings. So as you can see right now, we look normal. And I'm just going to disable enemy spawns if we equip the leggings you can see the texture here has changed and we're moving slightly quicker now if i add the uh, first plate let's pay attention to health and mana the health has increased by 20 but it doesn't show on here properly but we have increased our mana. And now if we add the helmet, we can hover over this and it now says set bonus increase speed. Whereas before, there was no set bonus. As you can see, we have the much faster movement works out nicely.
Now let's fiddle around with what uh, each of the things does. So I'm just going to turn back over to tutorial mod. I'm going to start with the draw head. So now if we reload our mod. You can see there's no head on the player. Oh, I can apparently use this as a way to see the head. That's fine. So now let's re comment out that. Draw hat hair. Not sure how this one turns out with the helmets. Let's build and reload again. We'll just jump into the world again. This time you can see we have hair showing. It's slightly hard to see, but we do have some hair there. Let's go out again. This time we're going to do full hair. You build and reload. And yeah, you can see it here. You can see the hair completely uh, showing. That's going to cover uh, armor sets. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give it a like. I have a list of episodes in the description below as part of the source code. So be sure to check those out to see what's coming next. I cannot remember what I've got next on the list. Uh, I'll have to check. Uh, the source code will contain the textures for the helmet, uh, armor, and uh, leggings. Those will be in the root folder rather than the armor folder, so you have access to those. So if you need them, they're there. They will be uh, one to one scale and they will have the sizes of each frame written on them. So you have access to that information. So thank you again for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to give the video a like and be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already. Until the next one, thank you for watching and goodbye.